In organic chemistry, undertaking the synthesis of a target molecule is a bit like figuring out how to make a Lego TIE fighter without looking at the instructions. You have to figure out which piece to start with on your own, and then which piece to attach to the first piece, and so on. Our target molecule is a simple hydrocarbon with the trivial name twistane. We show two ways to draw twistane because how we view any target structure, or from what orientation we view the molecule, greatly influences what disconnections we see. The first chemist to contemplate and synthesize twistane was Howard Whitlock back in 1962. His retrosynthetic analysis came from looking at twistane as a bicyclo-222 system joined by an ethano bridge. A disconnection here implies a molecule like this with a leaving group on the side chain displaced by an anion on this carbon generated by placing a ketone next to it. The synthesis then involves setting up this system where the 222 system is the product of an exoselective Diels-Alder reaction between cyclohexadiene and methyl acrylate. An extra carbon has to be added to the chain and the ketone has to be introduced at this carbon and not over here. Standard functional group interconversions allows us to add the single carbon by reduction of the ester with lithium aluminum hydride, converting the alcohol into the mesolate with methane sulfonyl chloride and pyridine, displacing the mesolate in an SN2 reaction with sodium cyanide, and finally, hydrolysis of the nitrile in base to give the carboxylic acid. Getting the ketone into the right place was accomplished by an iodocyclization. Iodination of the double bond starts to take place at the top face because the carboxyl group occupies the bottom. And then the carboxylate opens the iodonium ion from the bottom, placing an oxygen on that important carbon. The iodine was removed under hydrogenation conditions. Today, we would probably do this with tributyl tin hydride, triethyl borane, and air. Lithium aluminum hydride reduction of this lactone gave the diol. The primary alcohol was preferentially mesylated. The secondary alcohol was oxidized to the ketone. Treatment of the ketone with sodium hydride produced the enolate, which displaced the mesylate. A classical Wolf-Kishner reduction gave twistane. A second synthesis of twistane by Pierre de Longchamp involves a different disconnection. If we look at this twisted view, add some hydrogens here, which puts them cis at the back, and then disconnect the central bond, we end up with a cis decalin system, where the bond to be formed has to be between these two carbons. How can we form that bond? Well, as with Whitlock's synthesis, we put a ketone here and a leaving group here, which we should point out should be oriented on the same side as the ring junction H's, so that the intramolecular backside displacement goes smoothly. How did de Longchamp set the system up? His starting material is the readily available 2,7-dihydroxynaphthalene. Catalytic hydrogenation over rainy nickel gave the cis decalin diol, which was oxidized to the diketone with chromic acid. This diketone is a symmetric molecule, and we want to reduce one of the ketones to an alcohol and convert that alcohol into a leaving group so that it can be displaced by the enolate from the remaining ketone. The diketone was treated with an equivalent of triethyl orthoformate and acid to yield the ketal ketone, which could exist in two possible cis decalin conformations A and B. Conformation B has an axial ethoxy group, and hence the equilibrium favors A. The ketone was reduced under thermodynamic conditions with sodium and liquid ammonia in the presence of a proton donor alcohol. This gave the equatorial alcohol. The alcohol was mesylated and the ketal was hydrolyzed. The ketone mesylate was treated with sodium hydride to give the enolate, which displaced the mesylate in an intramolecular fashion to give the same ketone as Whitlock. But de Longchamp deoxygenated it by forming the thioketal followed by desulfurization with rainy nickel, which presumably gave a higher overall yield than the one-step Wolf-Kishner. So, we've seen two nifty syntheses of a neat molecule using second-year organic chemistry material. How do organic chemists figure out what reaction to use in synthesizing these complicated molecules? NO dimethyl hydroxylamine hydrochloride. 
and react it with your favorite carboxylic acid derivative.